So what in the world killed the middle class? That's today's video. Let's dive in. Hey everybody, I'm Clayton Morris and this is the channel where we talk about buy and hold real estate, creating passive income so you can go out there and become a real estate investor. And today we're going to talk about what killed the middle class. You know, when you look at rental real estate and you're looking about buying properties, you really have to understand what's driving the American economy right now. And over the past few years, we've been hearing stories. You heard it from Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton during the presidential campaigns over the last few years. The middle class is getting crushed. It's getting run out of town. So what's going on here? What exactly is happening? That's the subject of today's video. And it's really important as we understand the types of properties we're buying, what types of people are, are renting from us. Uh, and really understanding the middle class is going to be a powerful way to understand the overall dynamics and why buying rental real estate right now is incredibly important and valuable for creating cash flow. Okay, so let's dive into it. So right now, remarkably, as we stand right now in 2017 and into 2018, the middle class in the United States makes up about 19% of the overall wealth income in the economy only 19%. A few short years ago, that number was well over 35, pushing up to 40% of the American economy sat right there in the middle class. Now, it has totally dropped down to 19.5%. That is remarkably low. So what is driving these numbers? You might say, well, I hear about all these jobs going to China, right? Those manufacturing jobs going to China and all of these things being outsourced and manufacturing being outsourced and robots and all of these things. And you think that's a big problem. It is a big problem for the American economy because these jobs have gone and they are not coming back. So that's not really the reason the middle class is shrinking. And according to economist Harry Dent, and others, the real reason that the middle class has gotten crushed in the United States is because of income inequality. Income inequality, where incomes are not keeping up with the rate of inflation, and therefore we're creating the haves and the have-nots. That 1% is increasing tremendously. Those in the 1% bracket, those multimillionaires, are going up and up and up. In fact, the top CEOs of Fortune 500 companies have seen their incomes increase by like 600%. 600%. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. You hear about those golden parachutes, right, during the Bernie Madoff years. 600%. And unfortunately, the middle class got squeezed down into the whole sub-bracket of lower income. And remarkably, when we look at incomes for the middle class, their numbers, their income has actually gone down 5% since the 1970s. Think about that for a minute. Are you paying the same for milk that you were paying in 1970? No. And yet incomes in the middle class have dropped 5% since 1970 in the United States. Now, if you remove the affluent from this picture, okay, let's say we've got 100%, right? Your big, think of a pie, right? Your big 100% pie. And we take out that top 10%, which is the affluent, that means the bottom 90% of the U.S. economy, the bottom 90% averages, makes about $32,000 a year. That's the ad average income for 90% of the rest of the American economy. That is remarkable. But again, when I look at news like this, I always want to understand, well, as a rental investor, that's the whole purpose of this channel, okay? As a rental investor, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my portfolio of properties? What does that mean for me acquiring properties and moving forward? Well, what that means to me is that, you know, frankly, it's good to be a landlord because individuals are simply not buying houses right now. They're not, they don't have the money for a big down payment. They'd rather rent uh, and they are not going to be buying that house. Well, why shouldn't they rent from you? I mean, that's the bottom line here. If the affluent are making a killing and the bulk of the American population basically needs to rent, they don't have big money for a down payment. And if the average annual salary is $32,000, there you go. That's what's driving the American economy right now. $32,000 for the bulk of the American uh, lower class. 
These are remarkable numbers, folks. And I have to say, I really think the American middle class is going to be gone for a number of years. That I really think you're going to see some, maybe some big class problems going forward. And it's a little troubling. If you look at Harry Dent's numbers, that means that the top 1% have seen their wealth go up four times. Four times since 1975. Compare that to the middle class's average salary going down 5% since the 1970s. So is the middle class in America dead? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know what the middle class even looks like anymore. I think it's totally gone. So when you look at, as a rental investor, who's renting from me, the tenants that rent from me are the long haul truckers. They're the, they're the hardworking blue collar Americans who rent our properties. Um, and that's what's driving the rental boom in this country. So, you know, it's a great time to be a rental investor. That is for sure. And the middle class, sadly, is being squeezed. So we need to kind of weigh all of these things, but it's really important to understand this economy as you are a rental investor or just getting started. So that is the news of the week, folks. I wanted to share with you on what is killing the middle class in the United States. And it is going to be a tall order for the Trump administration going forward to try to see if they can bring back some of that wage increases among the middle class and stop that wage stagnation, in fact, plummeting for the middle, middle class. I hope you found this video informative. I've certainly did when I was reading over Harry Dent's information. He's a brilliant economist uh, to dive into some of these numbers, really eye-opening and fascinating. And I always try on this channel to tie it back to understanding the real estate market and what that means for you as a real estate investor. I hope you found this video fascinating. If you did, please hit the big subscribe button right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And you can turn on little notifications now. They've added a little bell, a little bell up there. Just hit the little bell. That'll notify you when we upload a new video, which we do three times a week. Thanks, folks. We'll see you back here next time. In the meantime, go out there, take action, and become a real estate investor. We'll see you next time.